Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a exciting video that is always requested and I've had a lot of questions about my purse. So I thought I would do an updated what's in my bag video. This is one of the most OG YouTube videos out there and people still love to see them. So I thought I would do an updated one featuring a few hacks that I use with my purse just to kind of get me through life, you know. This is my bag. It's huge and full. I also have sitting with me a trash bag because I know there's a lot of trash in here. I am a mom. I'm constantly busy, so there's really no telling what's in this bag. I don't know. It might be slightly embarrassing, but we'll see. First, I'll talk about my bag. This is a Steve Madden bag. I got this at TJ Maxx. I'm going to try to find it for you guys, and if I can find it, I will link it down below in the description box because I get asked about this bag all the time in real life on my videos when you see it. I love this bag. I got it a few months ago and it came in a few colors. My mom actually got the more blush toned bag. It is the perfect size. It has great straps. It's got this little latch over it, but it's usually, mine is usually just opened up. It has a little fringe tassel gold detail on the zippers and everything. These just like faux zippers right here. The first hack I want to show you oh, is right here. So I attached a little key ring, a little key hook to the side of my bag, and I keep my work keys on this because I don't have my work keys attached to my car keys. I find that it gets a little difficult to carry all my stuff and find which key is my work key and all that, so I like to keep them just hooked to this part of my purse because that way I don't lose them in my bag and I can just grab them off in the morning. I love having those there. All right, so the first thing I have in here is my little on-the-go makeup bag. This just has a little bit of lip products and sub stuff in it, I'll show you. I got this bag at TJ Maxx as well. It's, it's really pretty, I like it. It's just a nice little bag. Open it up and I have all my products in here. Some lip products, a touch-up brush, a little brush for Griffin's hair, which actually this was from when he was a baby and now it has makeup all over it, so. Mm -hmm. And then also one of my favorite purse hacks and products, my scent birds. I actually have one that's, this is an older one that I've used up, yep, gone from the summer. And this is my latest, the one I just got this month. This is the fragrance, David Yurman Exotic Essence. It's a nice warm fragrance. If you don't know what it is, it's a subscription service to little travel size perfumes you get every month. What I love about Scentbird is they partner with some of the biggest brands in perfume. There are over 450 designer perfumes on Scentbird. So that way you can kind of date it before you marry it. You know, before you spend all that money on a full size perfume, you can just kind of date it a little bit. And they're constantly adding new perfumes. So it's always fun to check them out and read all about them and decide which perfume you want for that month, for that time of the year. You get about the size of a roller ball for about half the price of a roller ball and they deliver it free to your door every month. I love Scentbird. I've been using it for years now. Just need to put some on actually. You see the mist? It's so fine and it's like ah. So these are perfect to throw in my purse and I can grab them like if I have an older one like I showed you here um, which is just still in here from the summer. This is one of my favorites too. It's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Then this is my new one for the month. I wanted to try something different that I've never seen in any of the stores around me, which I've never seen a David Yurman fragrance. I didn't even know they had fragrances. But I chose this one because I wanted something fall and warm. So this is what it comes in. It's a little casing, and then you twist it, and there is your perfume right there. Pop it right out. You can pull it out. You can see what perfume you have, and you can see how much you have left clearly. When you first sign up with Scentbird, you will get the casing and the vial. And then every month after that, you'll be just getting the vial to replace in your casing. So definitely check out Scentbird. It's one of my favorite life hacks for my purse just to throw in here without having to bring your whole bottle. You can try new perfumes. I have a link down below. You can go check out Scentbird and just check out the site, sign up. And I have a code as well down there to get you 25% off your first fragrance. So everything will be down below. I'll stick the code right here so you can screenshot this. Go check out Scentbird, toss them in your bag, and be on your way. So what I love about this trick is it's so easy to do and you can find it so easily. I just take a little key fob, place 
a bunch of ponytail holders on it. I had a lot more, but I've gone through them between me and Skylie. I love this, and then you can just hook it on a strap in your purse, but it's so easy to find this way, and you can hook pretty much whatever, but it's definitely my way of keeping track of extra ponytail holders. And then the next thing, so you're like, okay, Lauren, what is so special about this ugly case? <laughs> this is a sunglass case from a pair of Andy's sunglasses, and I like it because it zips up, so it's nice, and it's actually pretty small, so it's a good size. Size. and what I keep in here is my phone charger and I usually have a block but my block is so gross I had to throw it away and I need to get a new one but I keep my phone charger I keep my block in here and um, this way nothing bad happens to my cord sometimes they can get like messed up by things hitting them in your purse so this way it is just nice and protected and I know exactly where it is and it won't fall out or get twisted or tangled or anything. So these are hands down my favorite purse hacks. Definitely keeping your keys, whatever kind of keys you need on an extra little hook and on your purse somewhere where you can access them conveniently. Some hair ties on a nifty little compartment to keep them organized and clean and out of your way but where you can find them. Your cable cords or whatever you need in a protected case that you already have laying around that you don't use anyways and perfume on the go the best hack out there so what are some of your purse hacks let me know down below and let's get into what else is in my bag all right next thing is my wallet and if something else came out with it my student ID for school then I have a wallet I just recently got this my old wallet was just getting so worn out so I got another one this was from TJ Maxx just I don't even know what it is I kind of like it but then I'm kind of like mm. all right I got like a thousand things of water this is my life hack I found that I'm always dying of thirst and if you have a big enough bag and you can toss a water bottle in it do it because you never know where you are and you need water more water mm. more water this is random, but this is the slime that I ordered off Etsy, and I threw it in my purse to hide it from my children, and I have yet to get to play with it yet, but I got some slime. A notebook, and it's funny because it says stuff I'm likely to forget because it's so true. I keep in here things I need to do for that day, um, things I need to order for work, grocery list, everything. It's just so random. Receipts, coupons. Just find a notebook that's the perfect size and throw it in your bag. I got like a thousand checks in here from work. Receipts on receipts. Pen, Hobby Lobby receipt, a snack. Keep a snack. I like to keep bars. This is one of the kind bars that I got in my big box a few weeks ago. Dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. Just, you never know when you're gonna get a little shaky like at work or wherever you are at it and you can't get something to eat. So I keep a snack in there. It can also be for you know somebody else like my husband or my kids. A block for a phone charger, a spoon. This is my, the fear of God, I guess you could call it, for my kids because when Griffin is acting up specifically, I'm talking about Griffin, all I have to do is show him this spoon I popped his butt with it one time, and ever since then, if I show him this when we're out to eat at dinner or anything like that, he's like, he straightens up. So, I keep this in my purse. An extra diaper, some of Griffin's socks, a receipt to Kohl's, TJ Maxx receipt, some deodorant, you never know, TJ Maxx. Some more socks. This stuff is great. It's called O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's a hand cream um, for people that work with their hands. I got this at my dentist office, like in the gift shop. My hands get so dry, especially in the winter time. So this is just, a little goes a long way. And I really like it for my hands. I got several pairs of sunglasses. These sunglasses I left at our friend's house. Another pair, they're all key. These sunglasses are in my car, but the case is in here. I just keep them all because I never know which one I want to wear. I have some Carmex in my purse. Andy loves Carmex. There is gum on it. Okay. Remember when I bought this little pineapple thing for my phone? I never put it on my phone. A couple hair bows of Skyly's. Another bow. This is one of Griffin's toothbrushes that he got at the dentist, but he likes to just chew on it. You know, he's teething, so it's great to keep one of these in your purse. A nice little tool to calm your child down if you're out in public and they're teething. These are um, my old car key, or they're old keys with random keys on it for I don't even know what, but it has my key to my P.O. box on it, so I keep them in my purse. I have been testing out Hubble contacts. 
and the boxes are all messed up because Griffin has been messing with them, but I've been testing them out. I keep them on me because they are dailies and I don't know how well they stay in my eyes, which they've actually been great lately, but I kept them in my bag in case one fell out or one dried out. So that way I would never be without contacts, one's for my left eye and one's for my right. Another sock, I don't know. I don't know why there's so many socks. A random like crunched up dollar bill. A couple things of bubble tape. I love bubble tape and the kids love bubble tape. Some business cards, a bunch of receipts, and another check. A little thing of hand sanitizer. A pen, a Sharpie, and some more business cards. And that is my bag. My messy bag. All oh, my hoop earrings. I've been looking for these. I wondered where they were. And there's my bag. Empty and kind of dirty at the bottom. But that was everything in my bag. So, anything I might have mentioned, Scentbird, I'll try to find my purse, Hubble contacts, anything like that that I can link down below, I will if you guys are interested in checking it out. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in my bag. Maybe picked up a few hacks that you might want to use, the, the on-the-go perfume, attaching your keys to your bag, carrying a notebook with you for resourceful information, all that good stuff check it out. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. Don't forget to comment below if you enjoyed this. So next time I switch up my bag, I will do another one of these videos. It's been over a year since I did my last one. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Bye.